What's going on guys? Um, I want to talk to you a quick uh, heads up about some things that's been going on with Microsoft. I'm not sure if it's just, you know, people merging their accounts from Windows 10 up to Windows 11, which you should not do. Hear me out. Just because Windows 11 says that your laptop or your computer can run Windows 11 shouldn't mean that you should run Windows 11. Okay, let me make this abundantly clear. Okay, I, full disclosure, okay, hate Windows. This is the last PC out of the three that I have here, not including my phones and heck, even some of my phones. Okay, full disclosure. This is my Android A12, okay? My Android A12 runs Android, okay? This is my Huawei Nexus P6. It runs Linux, Kali Linux to be specific. Why? Because I am a pen tester. It's what I do. My laptop that was running Windows, okay, is now running Linux, specifically Kali Linux. Why? For my school and for my schooling and my job, okay, as a security, as a uh, uh, cyber security specialist and pen tester, okay. Now, you're thinking, wait a minute, but you've got DTS Sound Unbound up here, yeah, and I do for a reason. I purchased this software in its entirety. I didn't rent it, okay? I bought it, okay? Now, it's only either a 14-day trial or you buy the thing outright. Well, I already bought the thing outright, and I can prove it. I can prove it because I have screenshots of what I spent my money on. Okay, case in point, let me bring up, let me bring up the screenshots for you real quick. Now, this is my PayPal. As you can see, I have purchased the software. Okay. Microsoft has acknowledged that my purchase was not inside the US, it was outside the US, and it's a verified purchase. So why don't I have my fucking key? I have been following my own fucking tail, and I'm not even kidding, going through what they like to call customer care that quite literally loops around in on itself this poor guy here okay tells you to do all these steps did them and he said if get in touch with the microsoft store support so i did took me to here okay go to europe where i'm at da -da 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 -da. go to england click on technical support okay click on get help type in see it's right there dts get help and what does it do Okay, it literally tells me Okay, sound down bound, okay, cool, click it, I come here, get in store app, it's free, free, you think, okay, it's free, it recognizes it being free, which means it's recognized the purchase, okay, click on open, and now, it wants me to pay another five pounds. I click on refresh license like it keeps telling me to. Nope. So, Microsoft, what the fuck? What the fuck? If me even following your bullshit online technical guides still take me, see, only gives me the option to buy or free trial, okay? It literally sends me to the same fucking, same thing. It loops. It loops. There's no help. None. 
do 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 you have mongoloid monkeys working there? And that's just that's not the only thing that's not working in the store. Okay? If I was to bring up my actual store, okay, let me close these out. If I was to go to store, yes, my Microsoft store is disabled. This is Windows 10, by the way, not Windows 11. <laughs> Sod Windows 11, okay? And I type in Python, right? Now, I, I do have PyCharm, okay? I'm, I'm coding in PyCharm, okay? I have PyCharm, but I also needed an external Python thing to go inside my uh, command shell. So I grab a version of Python, they're all free, so let's, let's, let's grab 3.7, shall we? All right, click get. Now watch, watch it have a fucking heart attack. Okay, it's trying to download. Bear in mind, this is a paid for version, pro version of Windows 10. I paid for this software, like a mug. Now watch, installing Installing, installing, error. I cannot seem to download anything off their store. Click see details. An unexpected, it's the same generic error. It's the same generic error, no matter what the fuck it is I try to download. Now, most people will say, well, well, what's the point? You've got PyCharm, okay? You don't, yeah, and I do. I have Py, I have PyCharm here. I, I've got several freaking uh, uh, projects I'm coding right now. Reason why is I'm trying to code for a specific de device, aka a Ponogachi, which I have right here. I'm trying to design a plugin for it. Actually, it's a driver slash plugin for it. However, PyCharm can't seem to find, see, install Ponogachi package, okay? Error installing the package. And it, I know what the error is. The error is the fact that for some reason PyCharm doesn't like it. And you have to download it separately through through uh, 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 sudo get through your PowerShell. But the problem is, not even PowerShell is it. And I've got get installed here. Okay? I'll even prove it. Ready? Boom. Get. See? Get GUI here. I have get installed. Okay? As you can see, get is installed. But the moment I try to bring up a PowerShell, okay? Here's a PowerShell, and I type in any kind of code. So, Python not found. Okay, all right, cool. Let's try pip. Nothing. Locks up on me. Okay. See, literally, it's locked up on me. So I have to close the shell. Open up the shell again. Wait a few seconds. I shouldn't be waiting seconds. Okay. And I'm going to grab another code snippet. There you go. Python was not found. Yeah, I have Python installed. Run it through the Microsoft Store. The store won't work. Or disable this shortcut from settings, manage app execution, aliases. Tried that. Doesn't work. Okay, look, here you go. Go back, go back. Oh, look, what's there? Python. Python. It's like Windows 10, since I updated, has had a complete and total fucking brain fart. The store doesn't work. Anything you try to download from the store, it'll start the download. It needs you to go halfway through and go, eh, what am I doing? Eh, like it's got fucking Parkinson's. Or Alzheimer's. It just totally fucking forgets what the fuck it's doing. So, needless to say, that is slowing me down in some of my projects that I'm trying to do. Let alone the fact it's slowing me down trying to edit videos. Okay? Because at one point, I was trying to edit a video using my CUDA cores on my 3060. And then all of a sudden, Windows was like, but you don't have an NVIDIA card installed. <laughs> what? Turns out that, 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 yeah, 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 there's my NVIDIA control panel. Okay. Recognizes my card. Right there, see? 
recognizes my card. Okay? I can play games. I can render video, 3D rendering. You name it. Here, look, there you go. If I didn't have a compatible 3D graphics card, okay, not even an onboard series of chips could render what I'm trying to do, okay? So, okay, as you know, this is this is um, a, 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 a Tudor Box Pro. Yes, there is a newer version. I've got to update. So give me a, give, give me a bit. Okay, so I'm going to grab my file, throw it in, give it a few seconds. Compiling input, but you see what I'm saying. If I had a fake onboard graphics card, it wouldn't even get this far. It would just stop. I can play Armored Warfare just fine. I can play Hell Let Loose just fine. I can play fucking Quake just fine. Wolfenstein 3D just fine. My bio here. I recently grabbed me a copy of Bioshock One and Two. Perfectly fine. So, it's not in any way, shape, or form anything other than this potential new update. Okay. That has quite literally, see, on the 25th. Uh, no, sorry, where is it? Um, yeah, 25th. The has literally turned my fucking computer insane. And it has slowed down my production when it comes to coding, when it comes to a whole bunch of things. Because, uh, truth be told, okay, this is something I've been working on. Okay, this this is the uh, web interface GUI for a Ponogachi. Okay, Ponogachi is quite literally this little device right here. Okay, it's a simple little device that will do WPA handshakes, various other things. I use it for, for fun and whatnot. Yes, mine's heavily customized. Different face, different font, different, a whole bunch of everything, okay? But in it, there's plugins, okay? Yes, this Rick Roll is my plugin. Don't ask what it does, the name says it all. But the point is, okay, I build custom plugins for my Ponagotchi to help me with my security pen testing. I quite literally use it. It's my all-in-one Swiss Army knife. It my 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 Kali Linux phone and my laptop. Okay? That's it. Now what slowed me down product productivity wise is the fact that I'm having to fight 99% of the time with my fucking Windows OS just to get basic shit done. That is all. It's just a rant. I, I, I just wanted to throw this out there as a rant. I'm done. So, anyway. Microsoft, fuck you. Thanks for the lack of support. Thanks for the lack of everything. I guess you've already got your money out of me. So, uh, jog on.